going on, y'all? So, I have a mail call. I got a mail call and I got a few announcements. I want to start out by saying, okay, y'all, it's getting time for spring. And I'm going to do something a little different, unlike what... Uh-uh, come back here. Unlike what a lot of these YouTubers... Hey, how you doing? Kenny, did you get your COVID vaccine? Tell him, did you get your COVID vaccine? Tell him. That's your brother. He coming over here next. Do y'all have a sixth sense for when I press record? Come on. Because if they don't see you, they don't think you're living. Tell them how somebody got you in the face. What was y'all arguing about? Who get to kill the next bird? Tell them how I found a bird over there. Tell them. Mm -mm. Don't look over there at your brother. Tell them how I found that bird. Anyway. I can tell it's beginning to be spring. My little killers is killing. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Don't y'all start that fighting on camera. They like to practice their hunting skills on each other. <sighs> they just like children. Anyway, um, so, announcements. I am not. Y'all stop. Hey, I'm feeling. Can y'all hear all that foolishness? Anyway, um, I'm not going to tell y'all like most people tell y'all do. Get your seed catalogs. Do not. Get your seed catalog. Okay, you can get your seed catalog. But, in the meantime, go over to the Black Seed Exchange. Um, I know me personally, I'm going to put some seeds up, up that I want to exchange with people because I got some surplus of certain seeds and I want to get rid of them. So go over to the Black Seed Exchange. If you're not a member, request to be a member. I'll put the link in the um, description. And go over there. Join the Black Seed Exchange. A lot of us have the same seeds that you get from these seed companies. And a lot of times, you get most seeds for cheaper. Um, you know, you can exchange with people. If you don't have any seeds to uh, offer, that's fine. You can request seeds, that's fine. Um, you don't have to just have be given somebody seeds in order to participate. Um, so it's, it's not a problem. If it's any seeds that you might be looking for, request them. Because somebody emailed me and said they could hardly find seeds. And almost every seed they, that they wanted, I had. So, um... You know, y'all, check that out. Get over to the Black Seed Exchange. That's number one. Number two, let's do this mail call. So this is from Dan's Permaculture Food Forest. Y'all know Dan. Dan always sending me the goods. So a while ago, I asked him about black turmeric, which I think he just harvested his black turmeric. And then, um, oh, this is so sweet. He left a little note. It says, Happy Gardening from Danny permaculture food for us anyway um i asked him about jicama which is also called yam bean and he said he was gonna send me some jicama but then he sent all of this so i'm filming this on my birthday so happy birthday to me um so he sent me ethiopian kale or rock um i've always wanted to grow this and never, never bought the seeds. Jaime melon. Santa Claus melon. I've never heard of either one of those melons. Kushaw. I was getting ready to buy some Kushaw seeds. Thank you, Dan. You just saved me some money. And jicama, which I can't wait to grow this. This will be getting grown most definitely. I'm probably going to grow all of those. So I want to tell Dan, thank you. It is much appreciated. I'll get with you on that black turmeric if you decide to part ways with some of it. Um, now, y'all wonder where I'm looking down at. I got some notes. Now, I want to handle this right quick. I got some more channels for you all. Okay. So, I'm going to give y'all four channels that I done found. So, Humble Servant Homestead. Humble Servant Homestead. Um... I know the husband is from Jamaica, but it's a it's a couple. It's a husband and wife. And when I tell you, they grow some of the most beautiful callaloo 
that I have ever seen. And they grow some of the most beautiful um, Scotch bonnet peppers that I've ever seen. Absolutely ridiculous. So y'all go over to Humble Home, Humble Servant Homestead. Check out their channel. Uh, Farmer C is another channel. I'm going to be honest. I wrote these down a while ago. I can't remember what it was about Farmer C's channel, but trust me. It was something good. Kenny. Oh, no, that's not Kenny. That's the rooster. And Kenny talking to the rooster. Y'all don't speak the same language. He clucks and you meow. Anyway. Uh, let me see what's in it. Game Nerd Mom. So, if y'all have not watched her channel, head over there and watch Game Nerd Mom. My neighbor across the street is walking her cat on a leash. My cats don't walk on a leash. You put a leash on them, they they lay down like they dead. So, I don't even... I ain't got time to be dragging them around the neighborhood. So, it's real nice to her cat to walk on a leash. Anyway. Um, Game Nerd Mom really great channel y'all go go over there and um check her out and um what's my next one pentex garden go over to pentex garden check them out um if you like what you see subscribe um you can tell them i sent you you don't have to tell them i sent you it don't really matter to me but i think that's all of my little announcements oh last little announcement so I posted the video about inoculating the logs with mycelium. I realized that everybody don't have logs to grow mushrooms on. First of all, shiitakes, that's really the only way you're going to get them to grow. I had the oak logs laying around. Um, you can grow other mushrooms out of oak logs, like chicken of the woods, hen of the woods, um, turkey tail, um, lion's mane. Um, you can grow several other ones out of log mushrooms, but the shiitakes, that's the only, like, you can't grow them any other way. Um, I'm going to do several different things where I incorporate more mushrooms into my garden, and those will not be done in logs. They will be done using a much simpler method, which I think most people would have, um, access to what you need. For instance, uh, one of the methods you can simply use leaves. Uh, you can use wood chips. So if you have access to wood chips or leaves, most people are going to have access to at least leaves. Um, for those of you that have ways that you can get wood chips, um, whether for free or really cheap, there you go. Um, there's another, if you can't, if you don't have access to those two, you can also use straw or you can use compost. So I feel like between those four, I think I'm going to hit everybody if you want to grow mushrooms. I got you covered. And also, we're not going to use no real fancy type containers. We're not going to do none of that type of stuff. Um, we're going to use real simple, easy to find stuff. So, yeah, mushrooms really healthy. If you're not eating them or you're not cooking with them, I suggest you at least try. Um, I know a lot of people um, maybe might say they don't like mushrooms. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, rooster, two piece. Don't make me go get a pepper. And Chris is crossing the street. These animals are running amok. Chris, Chris is going. Wait for it, y'all. Oh, he was flapping his wings. I thought he was going to crow. Okay, I'm gonna need Chris to not be over. Okay, the neighbor that's walking her dog, her cat on a leash. I knew he was gonna crow. Anyway, the neighbor that was walking her cat on a leash, she always be petting my cat and feeding him. So he sees her ass and he goes over there. And she pick her cat up and go in the house. Oh, don't play sleek like you don't know him now. You been feeding him like I ain't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, between those four mediums, I think we can hit everybody that if you want to grow mushrooms, um, even if you're not sure, I think you should try it. Um, there's a lot of great mushrooms that you can um, try. And I'm going to be honest, you actually can work mushrooms into a lot of different dishes. And 
you really won't even know they're in there. Um, you saute onions and mushrooms with whatever meat you're cooking, you'll never know what's in there. Um, it'll stretch your stuff a little further, too. Tip. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I got that coming. So, yeah, that's that's all of my announcements. That's all of my shout-outs. Y'all go check all them channels. Um, the rooster is crowing again. But, uh, yeah. Appreciate y'all for watching. Share my channel. You know, like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what you waiting on? And if you a Jehovah Witness talking about you can't subscribe to something, quit watching me. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to see how many people made it that far in the video to catch the joke. Um, we know it'll only be about three people. I can almost call the names. Anyway, till next time, see you guys later.